Hello, the pioneer viewers. As you know, our agenda is the Russia-Ukraine war. The war continues on the front line in its all reality. Behind the front, there is a big politics going on. Although the obligations of the war force the parties, the conflicts continue. The developments and the outcome of the conflicts also affect the war determination of the parties. War is a multidimensional phenomenon. It is suicidal to decide to wage war without taking into account its consequences and difficulties it will bring. In the modern times, it is very difficult to conduct trench warfare. Infantry equipped with a technological equipment constitute and affect power elements. In addition, the use of unmanned aerial vehicles, radar systems, unmanned group vehicles and motion-guided weapons make trench warfare deadly. Problems such as flooding, rat infestations in the trenches are also frequently on the agenda. Following Russia's invasion attempt against Ukraine, trench warfare was initiated at certain points. Soldiers engaged in the mutual clashes in trench warfare and occasionally made gains. It is known that the Ukrainian army discovered new methods with technological equipment during the trench warfare. Developing strategies for trench warfare, the Ukrainian army continues to work in this direction. It is known that the Ukrainian army has been fighting intensely since the first days of the war. The Ukrainian army, which showed a successful defense resistance against the Russian army, gained a greater power element with the counterattacks. It broke the occupation in some regions against the Russian army and cleared its lands. The success of the Ukrainian army surprised everyone, especially Russia. Even the most elite units of the Russian army could not resist the Ukrainian army. The news that emerged in recent days brought the successes of the Ukrainian army in trench warfare to the agenda. According to the news, the Ukrainian army has achieved great successes against the Russian army in trench warfare. Now, if you are ready, let's examine the latest developments together. As the pioneer, we continue to report on Russia-Ukraine war. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss our daily map reports and reports on the agenda. I also read all your comments on our videos. Please continue to share your ideas about our content in the comments with us. Let's start if you are ready, the pioneer reports. The Ukrainian army continues to fight against the ongoing Russia's siege of the devastated strategic town of Avdiivka, according to reports that emerged recently. In published footage, Ukrainian soldiers targeted Russian positions in a trench along the front lines. The images shared by the Ukrainian army units revealed the situation on the front line. The video shared on social media were watched by thousands of people in a short time. In a short clip shared by the Ukraine's 108th Mountain Assault Battalion, a number of Ukrainian fighters were quickly freed from an armored vehicles and reached the trench line. Many of the Ukrainian soldiers quickly lay flat close to vehicles, while others advanced towards the Russian positions. The aerial footage was reportedly obtained by Ukrainian drones. Ukrainian army units have shared many images from the front lines since the first days of the war. The images shared gave important information about the hot conflict points of the war. Russia's defense ministry, on the other hand, frequently publishes photos or clips aimed to boosting support for the war effort. These propaganda images are served by the Kremlin. The grueling war in Ukraine is heading towards the two-year mark with uh, and few indications that the conflict may be coming to the end. In recent days, Russian President Vladimir Putin has suggested that the war will only end when he has achieved his goals. Ukrainian authorities, for their parts, have vowed to fight Russia's occupation until they retake all Russian-controlled territory. The Ukrainian army is fighting back vigorously and Kiev seems determined to end the occupation. In the depth of freezing winter, Ukraine is battling Russian troops pressing along the front lines, particularly in the embattled Donetsk town of Avdiivka. Ukrainian forces have successfully repelled 57 Russian attacks in the areas around the Avdiivka section of the front line, the Ukrainian military said in a statement the other day. The Ukrainian army is successfully resisting the attacks. The Ukrainian army is working hard on the defensive fronts and on the fronts where it's counter-attacking. After the days when this attack intensifies, an intense winter war and conflicts process is expected to take place. In the reports published in the past days, it was stated that the elite units of the Russian army suffered great losses. Elite units of the Russian army's air force are suffering heavy losses in the war with Ukraine. 
In reports published in the war in Ukraine, the UK Ministry of Defense wrote that the recently created 104th Guard Airborne Division of the Russian Airborne Forces failed to achieve its objectives in the Kherson region, believed to be the Wenzhen's first battlefield operation. Krynki and its surrounding have seen intense fighting in recent weeks. Last month, Kyiv announced it had captured a beachhead in what war observes called an important strategic victory over Russian President Vladimir Putin. The Ukrainian army has made significant gains in operations against the Russian elite. It was found that the operations against the Russian unit increased the losses of the elite unit. He wrote that the operation involving the 104th Guards of the Russian army took place after the Russia joined the Dnieper group of the forces and attempted to dislog the Ukrainian bridgehead near the village of Krynki on the eastern bank of the river. The general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine recently shared information on the latest fighting. The information provided important clues about the state of the war. According to the statements made by the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, there were about 110 combat clashes on the front line over the past day. Ukrainian missile troops launched an attack on the Russian command post. In addition to the attacks, two Russian ammunition depots were hit. The operations against the targets identified by the Ukrainian army inflicted heavy losses on the Russian troops. The statement made by the Air Force of the Ukrainian Armed Forces revealed the successes of the Ukrainian defense. According to the statements, Ukrainian defense shot down all 14 Iranian-made Shahed 136 and 131 drones used by Russian troops to attack Mikhailov, Kherson, Polatava, and Khmyansky region. The defense successes of the Ukrainian army are welcomed by the Kyiv authorities. Moreover, the escalation of fighting and developments in recent days provide a preview of winter war. The coming days are expected to see increased support for Ukraine and developments in the international politics. What do you think about the Ukrainian army's attacks on the Russian positions and what strategy do you think the Ukrainian army is following in its counterattacks? What do you think about the attacks on the elite units of the Russian army? How do you think the defense successes of the Ukrainian army can be evaluated? We care about your opinion. Please share it with us.